When I was young, I had another dream, but I think it was a young generation dream to be a pilot. But the more that I grow up, I thought about working in business because I have the background of my family that we have our business. So the, all the term of business, I usually heard it, import, export, supplier. So I was familiar with this word. So I decided like, why should I not go in this sphere? And I can get the experience from my father. So I decide to start to study economy. Before the war, I was like, I did not have the idea to go abroad because previously we used to live in a very good life, stable, no problem. Syria was one of the safest country, like you can walk in the middle of night carrying money or anything and nobody will ask you a question. But nowadays things are very dangerous, like after dark nobody dare to go out in the street unless he have some very important thing to do. So we were affected very badly and especially after we lost our job, but we're still trying to work again, but like we lost a big percentage of our job. I faced death several times and like most of the people that I know, they, like I feel like I'm in a place that I don't belong to it, like I don't know anything. For example, I'm a Christian and they just destroying church. They, they don't want freedom, you cannot smoke, you cannot drink alcohol. Like if they say that they want freedom, freedom that every person can do whatever he wants in his life. But in fact, they force you to follow their beliefs and who go out of this, he should be killed. That's simply. In 2012, our city was under the siege of terrorist group, and it was very difficult to people to leave the city, and especially for young people, because like for these groups, they will take any young one, so for some people, if they want to leave the city, they have to go by small helicopters to just avoid these areas. One of the, the things that makes me like, I should not stay there, is looking at the people. Like, they were like, very sad and like, they don't have dreams or anything and I thought like if I stay in that situation I will become with them like I have to go and because I'm young and I have energies idea and I want to discover the world and in my mind like someday I can return like the country will not like fly until maybe the situation will get better and I will come back At the beginning, I had to explain to many people that Russia today is not like Russia in the past. Now education is very good and I'm studying in the third important uh, university in uh, Russia. I start to think like, why should I not give it a try? For example, coming to Siberia was like for most of my friends that it's a crazy idea. What are you going to do there? Like, come with us. All of them, they're going to Europe or to US. I said, no, I want to give it a new try. I don't want to be like typical where everyone go, I go with them. Like I want to discover something new. And actually it's very interesting place. And I met a lot of people have the same idea with me. The education in Russia is much higher. Like I've never seen a person in Russia that is not educated. A lot of people like to read. They know what's happening around. 
but for Syrian like unfortunately this is not available like few people read so they don't know what's going on in the world they just follow what they said to them I think like the university do not give the opportunity for work but it make your mind get bigger and have more ideas I like the atmosphere here in university like you see that they care about the student more than education like they try to keep a good atmosphere between university and student it's not a prison that a student going to they put stress but at the end everything like have a solution like they just want you to get educated like they are not here to punish you so i'm very proud with my diploma i received as well a scholarship so that was like very impressive for me like i made a good diploma with scholarship in russia two years new experience new culture Now it's much better. Well, now we have electricity. It's not like before. As well for the water and like the basic stuff for life. But still, you can see like the face of war in peoples and a lot of building that they were destroyed. But I think at some point, like every country had like some bad moment and then they make it again. I was thinking like. If everyone want to leave the country for whom it will remain like like if all the good who were studying abroad and just work abroad our country will go back uh to the back not to forward So now I believe like Russian language will be very important for me especially in Syria because now we have a lot of Russian the investment so it's a challenging like to be in developed and try to come back but in my opinion like we should give it a try because I was born there There is a code they say it like your country is not a hotel when the service is bad you go out and change the hotel so even it's in a bad situation like we have to give it a try